up guys, today I'm playing Destiny and I'm playing the mission The World's Grave on the Moon, level 7 story. And right here you're going to notice that I'm the enemies are level 20, but that's not really going to change the mission up that much. It's just going to make the enemies harder to kill and you might get one or two different enemies during this mission that you won't see on an easier level. But once you get to this part right here, it can become kind of difficult. So you want to stay over here where there's a, a wall right here that gives you a lot of cover. And then you really want to focus on these guys that are charging at you because there's going to be a lot of them. So make sure you get rid of them before before you uh, focus on the wizard and then that thing that's in the sky. I'm not sure what to call it. So once you kill all of them, you want to focus on the wizard. Hopefully you have a rocket. Um, that's the best heavy uh, weapon you can have, I think. And then what you want to do is uh, wait until that thing in the air uh, opens up so you can shoot at it. And if you have a rocket, you want to shoot at it. But right here I mess up, like I shoot, and then it doesn't kill it. And it just closes up right away and heals itself. So what you want to do is shoot the rocket and then shoot at it with your gun. Now, for some reason, this thing wouldn't open up. Uh, it took a very long time to uh, open back up. So I'm just waiting, I'm waiting, I switch my gun to see if it will open up or not. There it goes. So this is again what you want to do, you want to shoot the rocket and then shoot at it with your gun. And then you want to stay over here by this wall because it shoots uh, projectiles when it dies and they do a lot of damage so you want to make sure you're behind cover. And then once that happens you can clear out uh, the rest of the enemies and pick up uh, anything they dropped and then just keep moving on. I'm going to skip ahead here to, to the, uh, the next part. So when you get here guys there's going to be a drop ship that drops off some enemies so you want to take care of them first before going anywhere. Now sometimes it'll drop off a wizard but uh, this time it just uh, dropped off like one of those chosen knight guys. Now when you're shooting at enemies, especially like those heavy uh, or um, stronger enemies with those kind of guns uh, you want to uh, move around so when you come over here there's the door is going to open to the right of me and there's going to be a bunch of enemies that uh, come out right there and I kind of messed up because I just went for that item um, but he, again you kind of want to walk forward and then back up because again there's going to be a lot of uh, enemies you might want to wait until your grenades charge up if they're not charged and if you have your special ability you might want to use it on that door um, as you see saw right there there will be some of those charging guys that come out of that door so that's kind of why you want to keep your distance so once you're done with them you want to come over here and I kind of mess up because there's a second drop ship that drops off enemies and I didn't see it I just kind of forgot about it because I've done this multiple times. Uh, you want to deal with them before you go in here. But when you do go in here, if you have a rocket, you just kind of want to shoot at that guy and try to get rid of them real fast. Or shoot at the wizard um, as well. You could do that. And then you, you just want to stay over here because, again, it gives you a lot of cover. And in a minute, you're going to see enemies like they're coming up behind you. So that's why I kind of had to move forward, but you don't want to go into this room this because the the again, I know where we're there's headed. a lot of enemies, a lot of strong enemies in here. Um, so you, again, you just want to keep your distance. So right here, this is uh, one of the guys that came from the dropship. Uh, so. You, like I said, you, you want to deal with them before you come in. And hopefully, uh, you're playing with a group of friends, so this will be a lot easier for you. Um, but, uh, you know, I kind of like doing things solo every now and then. It's fun. And, you know, I like the challenge of it. And the, again, the guns that I like in this game are the auto rifle, the scout rifle, 
but out of those two, the auto rifle, and then a shotgun, I love the shotgun, and then, um, rocket launcher, because I tried the heavy machine gun, I just don't like it, I'd rather have something that uh, does a lot, of, a lot of damage and a lot of area damage. So when you kill all of them, you just want to uh, go this way. And there's going to be some enemies over here to the right. You don't have to deal with them, but I suggest if you don't have your uh, special ability uh, maxed out, uh, just kill these guys until it is and then you can move on. Or you can just kill all of them if you want the uh, XP. But once I uh, max out my... Uh, my special ability. I'm just gonna move on here. So when you get in this room right here, if you do have rockets, you want to save them. So what you want to do is just kill all these guys, and you got excellent cover right here, so you should be fine. Uh, none of the none of the enemies really try to charge at you. They just uh, for whatever reason, they back up a lot. They never they never uh, really try to charge you unless it's those charging enemies, those smaller guys, or uh, some of those big guys was uh, with the with the swords. So when you get in here, guys, what you want to do is just stay over here. Uh, it's the best place to be because there's going to be enemies that spawn in the middle, and then there's two doors to the left and right that they're going to come from as well. Uh, so. What you want to do is save your special ability just in case like a big group of them uh, are able to get up there and you know you're kind of in an oh shit situation that you know that would be a good time to use it or again if like one of the heavier guys get up uh, up there then you can use it that on them. And if they do get up there you just want to go all the way to the back because for the most part they get like some of the AI, like, they get confused and they won't uh, go all the way back there. Now, I'm not sure how these guys got behind me. Uh, they kind of cut, caught me off guard, but I was able to kill them and I didn't die, so that's good. Like I said, you're gonna have like a couple waves of enemies that come. Uh, I think like three or so waves, and you just want to focus on the enemies that spawn in the middle and then deal with the guys that are in the far back. Um, after you deal with the enemies that uh, spawn in the middle. You probably want to save your rockets too for uh, the very last wave because again you're going to get these uh, guys right right here that um, the children knights that have like the swords and that guy right there so again if you're in a bad situation uh, you can use that on the wall. As you see right here like he won't charge at me for whatever reason so uh, staying, staying in the far back. Um, is a really good idea. But um, okay, that's gonna I've do it for it me, all. guys. Uh, there is again, thanks for watching. Hopefully, this the video uh, helped you out. Taken by the and I'll check you and guys out later. Been Earth for centuries, waiting for their gods to return. I'll warn the city. Let's get out of here.